Press is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, hello and happy publishing day to you. Um, one of the, I have to just, we're going to, I'm going to fast forward because I want to jump into this show right away. One of the most amazing webinars we did um, in this year was one we did by really someone I didn't know personally. Um, I didn't even know about his products that what he has was CJ McDaniels. And he so wowed us. His, his conceptions, what he comes up with, his innovations, and the things that will make your marketing slick, click, and tick is going to be right at your listenership here now. Within the next hour, you're going to learn so much about products and product development. C.J. McDaniels is the brains behind um, my the mock-up shots that we did, and I recommend you all get that, and we'll mention that as we go along. He's designed books and marketing plans for celebrities, presidential speech writers, New York Times, USA Today, and Wall Street Journal bestselling authors. And his company, A Dazing, creates tools and software to help authors sell more books. So how cool is that? So we're going to be doing what, what gizmos and gadgets can you create that will accent and be accessories to your books, but also maybe some great tips on selling more books. So, CJ, welcome to Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. Thank you so much. All right. So, okay, I have to ask this. What did you do? What books did you design for presidential speech writers, or what did you do for these dudes? <laughs> you know, we have did everything. And so, um, you know, I, I've been, you know, in, in publishing and helping authors for a long, long time. So, um, you know, I did a lot of book covers. That's really where my company started. I love doing book covers. And then I uh, started working with all these um, big publishers and realizing some of the strategies that were going into marketing and then just got into that side of things. So we did a lot of stuff for a lot of different authors. Well, I think that's what we want to hear about is stuff. <laughs> so let's, and, and, and does creating products help your email list to grow? I mean, what do we do here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you if you take a normal uh, website and it has this traffic coming to it, what you'll typically see is that most websites have about a 2% conversion rate onto their email list. And so we know that it's so important to have that email list to build that platform. But if you think about all those people you've worked so hard to get to your website, only 2% of them are subscribing to your email list so you can contact them later. That's kind of that's kind of sad to me. I, I I want people to grab all of those eyeballs, all of those people who are coming to that site, and I want them to stay on their email list. So um, on my, our website, because we do a lot of really great tools and templates and generators and calculators, we give all this stuff away for free. We actually convert about 30% of our traffic over to our email list. So every single month, we have 11,000 people joining our email list because wow. we've decided to give massive amounts of value to these people so they can stay on our platform so we can serve them later. So, yeah, that's what the tools and products, that's what it can do for your platform. All right. So let's, let's talk about that a little bit. I love the idea from going from 2% to 30%. Um, <laughs> right. So, so what kind of things are you putting out? I guess, number one, what are you putting out, CJ, to lure them in? And then secondly, what do you have on the website when they land to snare them? Right. So uh, what what we're creating, we, we create um, – templates and things. So many times when 
pe- people give content and they give it through an article, and that's really helpful. But many times, if you're looking for examples of a book blurbs, that's really helpful, and then you can see what the experts have did. But if that person is on that page and they see that there's a, a freebie that they can opt in for, that is actually templates that they can actually fill in their information and it's got helpful tips and tricks right there that they can actually use that text and create their own blurb. That's so enticing because everybody, we, we hate to go things alone. We, we would prefer to have that, that guidance of um, an expert saying, hey, here's the perfect blurb. How about you just edit it and make it your own? So those types of things um, are what, what we give away. We give templates for um, business cards for authors, templates for book covers, templates for anything that you can imagine. We create that type of stuff so authors can have that head start, you know, when they're creating all the, these assets on their own. All right. So you're talking about because a lot of authors are visiting you. And of course, you know, how cool to get a quickie template to do something with. And that's a freebie instead of paying whatever one would pay for these things now. Um, on a template format. And what would that cost if they paid for uh, covered templates? Um, Yeah, so if they go get a a cover template for an individual, you're going to pay $50 or, you know, something along those lines. All right. So you you have, and it's your your form of mock-up type thing. What would you suggest, but not everyone, uh, not uh, not all authors, if they're going to offer something from their own website, are going to be offering like a template um to create cover design so i don't know let's between you and me let's come up with what an, an author is a miss let's say he's a mystery writer what kind of thing that he could he offer yeah so um uh, a mystery writer um or any fiction writer there's so many things that 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 you could do so you could do um if it's historical or there's an area um, that people are, um, that, that the author talks about, then you can have guides to that area. You can have, um, if it, going back to other fiction books, um, if you think about someone who's really interested in a certain book and they've come um, and they're, they're coming back to your website, if you were Harry Potter, it would mm-hmm. be so easy, easy to do not a template, but to do a little quiz. So if you were to do Harry Potter, you were doing a sorting hat quiz to decide which house um, you you belonged in. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's so many things. It doesn't matter what genre you're in or what your expertise is. And there's a lot of things that people are actively searching for that you could actually create that are going to really entice these these visitors to your site to to go ahead and uh, take advantage of whatever freebie you're offering. So then what my my thing is, then what I would be taking is I would create kind of a little campaign, I guess, that I would push out on social media. And I'm going to use your, your I'm going to just coattail onto your sorting hat. <laughs> uh, and, and then because that, that kind of intrigues me, although we probably would get into deep doo doo if we use sorting hat. I bet you she's got it trademarked or maybe she doesn't. I don't know. But 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 take my sorting hat quiz to find out what house you will land in um, or you know, a series of things. So you would be pushing that on social media to bring to your website. And then where would you set, suggest on the website you position um, the quiz for them to see it to take? Yeah, so, so this is actually a really interesting. And this is one of the reasons that our site has did so well because we've started to get immense organic traffic and this is the reason we started getting so much traffic is when we create one of these things we have a a book marketing um uh, a book media kit author media kit that we provide and so you can get that for free but what we did is we um, created a really helpful article that went with it and and when you arrive at that page you actually go ahead and at the very beginning it says hey grab these templates but below that there's a lot of text so um, this is the landing page for that freebie, but it both has a, an article and it has this freebie on it. So what happens is people love this so much that they start to, to share it. They start to link to it from their websites. And then Google sees, wow, a lot of people are linking to this one page right here. 
Oh, and by the way, it has a lot of content. You know, um, so it has all those SEO factors that, that Google loves so much. And then so Google is saying, wow, it's got good content and everyone in the world is sharing it. This must be um, relevant for that term. So all of a sudden, when you search um, author media kit, we're the number one that comes up. So we did all of that. We did all that promotion on social media. And then that led us um, because we have that one very specific landing page for this tool, then now Google is sending us thousands of people a month directly to that page. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what? So, so, if someone was going to engage your services, CJ, they would talk to you about what their book was about, um, that or what their expertise was about, and you would kind of come up with something that might be a fit for them to offer or to create a product to create? Um, um, absolutely. Um, one of the things that's really interesting is that this data is already out there. So Google keeps track of all the searches um, that everybody does. And there's all these really cool tools that uh, allow you to delve into what people are searching. And so, if you look at those, I've actually created a really handy tool that we can uh, uh, send people to. And so when you look at this, you'll see if you just scroll down and you read through all the things, you'll realize that there's all these things that people are searching for that you never thought about. And so probably every person who's listening to this conversation right now, mm -hmm. if they were to go through that list, they're going to find something that appeals to them that makes a lot of sense for them. So if you're a leadership um, expert, you're going to realize that people are actually searching for a leadership checklist. You know, All right, so CJ, I want you to hold that thought because we need to take our yep. first commercial break because I think this is really relevant for people to grasp from the get-go. This is the beginning. These are baby steps that could lead to huge payoffs. We'll be right back. It's Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. is your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host dr judith briles and we'll be right back with more great information right after these is there a book in you or another author you shows you how to create develop and publish your book without being hoodwinked if you already have a book out you will find a supportive and brainstorming community that is connected and creative no matter where you live author you brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author you extravaganza it has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics through author you's extensive network Members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publishing. Author Use, the premier authoring resource in the country, creating community, education, guidance, vision, and success for the serious author. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author You is for you. Timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted on its social media platforms, and it is free. Discover Author You, where authors go to become seriously successful. Join Author You today at authoru.org. First impressions are everything in the world of book publishing. Whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com.
Are you confused about publishing options? Do you know which printing option is best for your book? Does your stomach flip when you think about selling books? Or do you feel overwhelmed with what to do about book marketing and publicity? Get the answers and much more. Get them and from someone who knows publishing inside and out from both the traditional and independent sides how to make a successful book. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so. Or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand and platform, and is a success, a bestseller. It is your choice. You choose. If you want author and publishing success, you want Judith Bryles as your book coach. Sign up for her weekly blogs and easing at thebookshepherd.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. With me for this podcast is C.J. McDaniel, and he has quite a pedigree in working with authors from designing books and marketing plans for celebrities and and uh, many, many, many New York Times and USA Today, Wall Street Journal bestselling authors. And my introduction to C.J. was when I discovered his mock-up shots, which in literally um, in seconds, you just put your book cover up. In second, you have hundreds of different ideal, uh, visual ideas of different ways your book can pop up and you can use them just anywhere. And I love it because once you're in, it's lifelong. And what they add to it, you get to keep using it and you can have multiple books up. So to me, it was really a home run and I was excited to tell people who I work with all about it. But he's talking about, CJ's been talking about something else and we're, we're talking about the bait to get people to your website. Um, we are both under this the same um, view, highly opinionated that your website is to gather, it's to provide content, it's to develop trust, but it's also to gather emails. And, and CJ, I'd love to have you tap on this because I have more people who push back on that, that, you know, no, it shouldn't be. It, it just, it has information, that's all that's necessary. I, I absolutely understand that point of, of view. We do just love to provide content. As authors and people who are trying to help people, we don't want to bother anyone. However, when you collect someone's email address, they become a part of your tribe, a part of the, the group of people who really care about you. So when you do another book or you do an event or you do a conference, these are people who you have direct access to their inboxes. And so that's so important. And, and there's one other perspective that I, that's a little bit different that I have. I write content many times because I know people are searching it because Google um, tells us who, who is searching for something. And so I'll write content about those things. However, if I have something I'm extremely passionate about, I can write about that thing and all those organic traffic, all the people using the Googles of the world, are not going to find that content because they didn't search it. So if I'm passionate about something and like I have something that my audience really, really needs to hear about, then that's what email is for. So I can uh, bypass that entire process of them going to my website and stumbling upon that article to me uh, actually being able to email them and say, hey, we got something really special. Why don't you go and read this article? So all of those things, that's what happens when you have people on your email list. So yes, it's, it's great when people are at your website. Um, they do look around, but you need to go ahead and ask for their emails so you can stay in touch with them in the future. Which is, which to me is essential. It's essential. Um, to announce all those things you're talking about. All right. When we, just before we went to our break, you were talking. About, we were talking about ideas, and I mean, I, I loved your, you know, the sorting hat hook. I thought that was a hoot. And you were talking about, I think, leadership. And I told you to hold the thought. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. 
and where were we on that? If you were writing leadership, for example. Right. If, if you were writing uh, for leadership, you, you, you would actually see if you did the research that people are actually searching for leadership uh, guides and leadership checklists. Um, I actually was just looking at um, some stats and I saw that there's a gigantic amount of people who are actually searching for the term um, golf club distance checklist. So, um, or uh, golf club distance cheat sheet. So there's actually uh, thousands of people every month searching for a cheat sheet that tells them which golf club um, will hit the ball the furthest. So if you were an expert in that, that niche right there, then that is something you definitely need to write about. So um, there's all this research out there that can actually show us what people are looking for. And we should, de if, someone, if thousands of people are searching for something and trying to find it, and they happen to be in your audience, you, like it's, it's your responsibility to create that content. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think so. So you just, number one, I guess what we should do is, is the, the thing that you're going to create should probably tie into whatever your expertise is. Definitely. And as you do the research, you'll realize that whatever your expert, expertise is, there's a tool out there that you probably haven't thought of that people are searching for every single month. All right. And so is that something that you and your team of people come up with? Um. Actually, uh, we created a, a, a nice little tool that you can go to. You can go to theeasyproduct.com, and what you'll see there is just kind of a, a database, a spreadsheet of lots and lots of ideas. And these are, the, and it actually shows you how many people are searching for this thing each month. So if you go uh, to that site and you just kind of go through and, and read all the items, there's probably going to be something that jumps out at you and say, "Oh, I actually need to create that." All right, so it's keywords that they're using, and then if it ties into what your expertise is, there any keyword with oh, your keyword is with you, but if there's anything that would be a quick fit, then you go about doing it. So, would you give the website again? Yes, it's theeasyproduct.com. Oh, you need to spell it. It's it's sorry. V is in Victor. Uh, no, the T H E. Oh, the okay, the yeah, the easy. All right, E A S Y. Yes. Product.com. The easy product.com. All right, so everyone, if, if there is a, a cheat sheet in your midst, you may find <laughs> the, the seed of it at the easy product.com. All right, well, that, that's, a great, that's a great tip, I think. All right, so in, what's some of the most fun products that you've created? Um, say that again. What are some of the more fun? Do you have a, very, a favorite? Let's say it like this. What are, do you have a favorite product you've created? You know, um, this is probably selfish, but my favorite products are the ones that actually result in, in purchases. And so okay. we did a, a lot of those. Um, and we haven't talked about the back end of this, of the, those bigger products that people are actually willing to, to pay for. Mm -hmm. But the... At the, the beginning stages, we just get people onto our email list. Mm -hmm. And so one of the ones that um, I think is, is kind of cool, if um, you search the term, um, how, how many pages is my book? So if you just search how many pages is my book on Google, then it's going to bring you uh, the number one thing that comes up is, is our website. And it just um, right there. All you have to do is say how many words are in your Microsoft Word document, and then it's going to tell you how many pages your formatted book is going to be. So it's a really simple tool. It didn't take us anything at all to build it, but thousands of people are using this because that, that's the question that, that, they're, that they have. Hey, I'm writing this book. How, how many word, more words do I need to write to, to get to my goal or to get to my target pages? Mm -hmm. So something like that is a lot of fun. Well, I think that is a terrific idea. And I'm going to, you know, I'm now going to come back on for what I do. I get asked that question all the time. Um, and that that would be a cool thing to have on my website, but it's on your website. So we can't duplicate, right? Um, you absolutely can duplicate. So the thing is, especially for the people who are already on your website, mm -hmm. um, they've come to your website for whatever reason they're there. 
And so it's okay that you have the same thing that, that I have just because, um, because your audience is going to use your tool and my audience is going to use my tool. So one of the things that is, um, if, if uh, once again, at theeasyproduct.com, when you start to look through there, you'll see that one of the things that is uh, searched a, a whole bunch every month is mortgage calculator. Well, if you're a real estate agent, you really should have a mortgage calculator yes. because you know people are looking for that. Yes. Um, and right, right under that is um, BMI calculator for fitness people looking for body mass. Um, if you're a fitness instructor, then you know that there's millions of people searching that each month. It doesn't matter if another fitness coach has the same tool. You need to have that tool for your audience. Um, right below that, a GPA calculator. So people who are actually um, trying to figure out what their GPA is, if you're someone who talks to students or college students, then that's something you would consider creating on your website. People are going to love it. They're going to give you their email address, and it's really going to help a lot of people. Oh, I love this idea. Okay, so let me come back to it because we're, we're, we're actually we're, – this is going so fast we're going to come up to another break. But where, where CJ, on the website should you have the ask – I mean, you, 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 you know, you talked about, and let's tell them what the, um, a, a tool to use that you call the exit uh, pop-up intent or something like that. But where in the minute, where on the website should you have a picture or an image or a question or something to say that you have this gadget that they can get? Yeah. So um, everywhere. <laughs> So, Everywhere. Okay. Every page. <laughs> um, but also you're talking to someone who wants to have 30% of people uh, uh, yes. come into my email uh, list. If there's I'm someone who, who is comfortable with only having 1.5%, um, maybe they won't have it as aggressively as I do. But uh, no one has ever complained to me. So apparently they're not too bothered. But no. so what we do, there's, yeah. um, there's a sidebar on the, uh, there, there's an opt-in on the sidebar. Then Many times in the middle of some of our content, we'll have another ad. And then, um, as you suggested, we, we kind of, um, as people go to leave our site, if they haven't subscribed yet, then there's a pop-up that comes up only if they're about to leave. One so more time. Okay. CJ, hold on. We're gonna, we're exiting to the tunes. We'll come right back. This is so important. We'll just reiterate it when we're back. is your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host dr judith briles and we'll be right back with more great information right after these discover the power of you and your book at the judith briles unplugged events each summer, Judith Bryles Book Marketing Unplugged unfolds over three intensive days working with just Judith. You get publishing strategies, author and book platforms, book marketing panache and pizzazz, and authoring tools to take you and your book to rock star success. In the fall and winter, Judith Bryles Speaking Unplugged includes Judith as your coach and mentor during two powerful days. You will learn how to structure a speech, how to create openings and closings, how to find gigs that pay you and sell your books, and you will get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Go to thebookshepherd.com and click on the Events tab to learn how to participate at the next Unplugged Workshop event. Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972. They believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. 
Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing question. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. With me here is CJ McDaniel. We're talking about how to get people, one, to your website, two, become a fan of your website. And you do it by creating some kind of a gizmo gadget, quiz, cheat sheet, something that's free. Something that's free. And that is something they want. Um, did I sum that up right, CJ? Yes, you did. Okay. So that's what we're talking about here. Um, how do you do it? And one of the last questions I asked him before we went to commercial is that where do you put this baby on your website? So is it, is it, a, is it in the upper section? Um, let's start with the home page. Where would that go? You said a sidebar. Which the upper sidebar? Yeah, so on your home page, and if you were to uh, do the uh, look at your Google Analytics, most people um, actually don't come in through your home page. So on the home page, I just uh, take that as a funnel to uh, send people to my other content. And mm -hmm. when they get there and they're reading something, then they're going to see some opt ins on those pages. So I usually don't put it on my home page. Uh, some people do. Um, they'll just do a, a subscribe to my newsletter list or something like that. And I'm sure that's effective, but it's not something I personally do. All right. So you sprinkle them on the interior of the website. Absolutely. And there's actually a, a term for uh, if there's an if you wrote an article and you can think of a really good, valuable freebie to go with that then they actually call that a content upgrade. So it's something they read your article and they loved it so much. Um, they're invested in, in who you are. And then there's something special that you're offering them that actually relates to that post. Then they are going to like guaranteed sign up for uh, that tool. So if you have something specific to an article you wrote, then on that page, you're actually going to have an opt-in for that freebie on your others, if you don't have something specific to each article, then you're going to have your best performing, um, you know, tool or freebie that you're giving away. All right. So when they opt in, does that take them to a new uh, landing page where they then fill put in their name and their email? Or is it before they can go to the landing page, do they have to put in their name and email? So, so yeah, it, um, the, the stats show that it, it's best if they actually – um, put their email and, and name right there from that, it. that page. And then mm -hmm. um, afterwards, it'll take them to a landing page or send them an email with, with their, their free thing, whatever that is. So, so technically, you may not even have to create a landing page. Just as soon as they do it, bang, it comes well, back in an autoresponder, right? Correct, yes. All right. Well, I actually kind of like that idea as we go along. All right. So everyone, I think that it's important to have opt-ins. And according to CJ, maybe have multiple opt-ins um, on there. 
where I used to think you, well, I have mine on my home page, but I'm going to go back and I'm telling you by next week, there's going to be things on the internal pages, um, variables and we'll and see some changes. So those are really important. Gather emails. You got to do it. All right. So how about, um, you know, you talk about building products uh, to offer additional income. And this is so now we're selling stuff, right? Right. We are. <laughs> so um, and it's, it's so easy. So if you were to go back and um, we were to take a, um, a business uh, coach or someone who, who teaches people how to get a job and someone actually signed up for a template um, and, and maybe it's a resume template, uh, a CV template, something, um, or even an executive bio template. And so you, th that's really enticing to think, wow, here's like an expert template. So they sign up for that. And, but what's even better than one is five or 10 or 15. And so if, if they're really well-crafted templates, like these are just like text, you're basically wrote an awesome bio and then you're giving it to them for free. But the thing is we all like to see multiple options so we can grab this bit and grab that bit. And so what I've experimented with and we've had great success is for just upping the number of something and then people are willing to pay a few dollars for it. Mm -hmm. So all of this was a lot less work than creating a, a book. But at the end of the day, you can still, still sell this for $7. So if I was going to get 20 uh, executive bio templates for $7, I would do that in a heartbeat because I want my bio to sound amazing. So I would want a business coach to help me with that. So I would pay $7 for that. So those are so it's really easy that if you're creating some kind of a template or some kind of valuable text or something that people can edit, you can just up the number and easily sell that. Um, most people wouldn't blink at all. Which is a great way to add on what I call mailbox money. <laughs> I love Absolutely. I love that idea of mail mailbox money. In doing those <laughs> things, so what? What are the, you know, CJ? What are the easiest kind of products to create? Would that be those cheat sheets you're talking about, or is there another variable here? Yeah. So, um, so many times um, people are w what they want is they just want that that help. You know. So if you um, you're not having to write thousands of words uh, for. For so many years, I've heard people talk about, hey, white papers are the way to do it. It doesn't take, you know, any tools or anything. All you have to do is write 150 pages and then give that away for free. Well, you know, that sounds like a lot of work to me. If I'm going to write 150 um, pages, then um, I would want to, to get money for that. So I don't want to give that away for free. But all these other things that we're talking about, a checklist, a cheat sheet, a meal plan, all of these different things that you could potentially do, you can create that very quickly. You've already got the knowledge in your head and people would love to give you their email address in exchange for that meal plan or that marketing kit or whatever it is you have to give them. All right. So I, you know, I like that idea too. So hey, let's go back to people then who, you know, don't do what you and I do where we're working with lots of authors. Let's go back to the other the other folks um, who have their different specialties and genres, mm -hmm. and creating products that go with that. That might be easy. So, yeah, and it's um, the, dependent on um, dependent on the genre. But I've helped so many people. I've helped pastors create. Um, a little a group of prayer templates, you know, mm -hmm. and they just grab that and then people are using those to, to pray each morning. It was such a simple thing to create, but it was really valuable for their audience. Um, I've helped people create um, people who give inspiration um, and, and write these uplifting messages. I've, I've helped them create inspiration checklists. Mm -hmm. And so basically, okay, start by turning everything off for five minutes and then go to the next step. And so there's whatever you're doing, there's so much, there's just a lot of opportunity. You just have to be creative and think, what do people really want from me as the expert? What can I give them? 
<laughs> or, or how can I take away their pain and the overwhelm? I get that Absolutely. one all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What how, a cheat sheet to remove author overwhelm. How's that? <laughs> Dude, I love it. <laughs> we all have it. All right, so we're gonna let's say we're we're on the the game plan. We're gonna do this. How? What what kind of tools do I actually need or software to create anything? That's what's so amazing about this. So all you need to do is come up with an idea or use the, the tool I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. and then so uh, and find something that people are looking for and then all you need is Microsoft Word um, or you could use Canva to create a really beautiful um, you know, PDF document so it's all things you can do for free it takes no time it doesn't take any money or anything like that uh, and um, the exception is if you were to want to do a calculator or generator so I've helped um, an author, a fiction author, who actually, she talked about orcs, and she wanted to create a generator that would allow you um, to find your orc name. So you put in your, your, your regular name, and then you press generate, and then it does all this magic-y formula stuff, and then it spits out this funny-sounding orc name that is built off of your initial name. Um, okay, so, but I'm a ding-dong. I don't know what an orc name is. You know, um, if <laughs> Lord of the Rings or something like that, they usually have a certain way that they, they structure the names. You know? Oh, so yes. If there's a got it. I got it. I got something. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but the thing, was, so with that, we actually had to hire a developer, and it uh, cost this author $100 to do that. So uh, she loved it, and it was completely worth it for her. So if you wanted to do something a little more techy, then, yeah, you might have to pay some money. But all this other free templates and checklists and stuff, all that is 100% free. You can do it yourself. Well, how cool it is. And you know what? You said something. I don't think a lot of people realize that you can do a fancy dancy, um, eloquent PDF within the Canva template. Yep, they have some really nice templates in there that you just select them and, you know, add your stuff. And then and then it really looks like you had a, a, a master designer in play here. Exactly. All right. So we're, we're with it. CJ McDaniels is with us. And I think I we cannot leave. We're going to take our final break here, but we cannot leave CJ without also talking about um, uh, your mock-up uh, product, your mock-up shots. Um, product and what you what they can do there as well as maybe anything else that you've got off and running and developing and then I, I think that maybe we need to see a lot of things free let us know when we come back what things might have a fee attached to it all right is your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host dr judith briles and we'll be right back with more great information right after these The Book Shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing, and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and guide to collaborate with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You do not need more problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Riles will shepherd you through the maze and chaos. At times, she has had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher, by a publishing service provider, and sometimes even by the author. If you want author and book success, connect with her today at thebookshepherd.com. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. 
We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right. So we're with us with CJ McDaniels and we're talking about creating things like cheat sheets and other items, simple, very inexpensive products that you can put on your a website from whether you do it on the homepage, the in, CJ saying, don't stop there. You're going to go to the interior and you're going to dabble it around. Uh, so to build your tribe. So those of you, I mean, I, CJ, I can't tell you how many times I've talked to people and they have no mechanism to collect emails. It is stunning to me. It's so sad because people and some people uh, see how many people are coming to their site. Some people don't even know, but you'll have hundreds or thousands of people coming to your site and then they're just leaving and you have no way of keeping contact with them. So we definitely want to grab those people for the future. And, and that's what you do. Like, you know, as, as we're talking, I, I went ahead and shot onto your um, website, a dazing, a D A Z I N G dot com. And you have got a boatload of free stuff that people, anybody can go to. Absolutely. We have um, about 25 free things that we've created and we're adding new stuff all the time. So it's worthwhile to keep coming back here. So let's say that you clearly you have some stuff that I could be using, you know, with, with my clients. That how would I go about you know, saying, okay, so gee, I'd like to offer this to my people. So how would I do that? I'm going to repeat the question. If let's say that I saw some things that would be absolutely perfect for my yeah. tribes on there. And I'd like, and you offer it on your website. How do I, do I have to recreate it all over brand spank and new and then offer it on my website? Or do I engage you to create it specially for me? Or do I just copy it and then make it for me? Or what do I do? Um, yeah, if you, um, so you can definitely, all the things that we've created, you could definitely create something on your own. Or you could send people to, to my site and then they, they could grab it from there. Um, now, one thing, uh, so we've talked about all of this, these products and the idea of getting these people on your email list. We're actually working on a course that kind of takes you through some of this stuff. And so in here in probably the next two months, we're going to have this, this really awesome course that actually shows people how we get hundreds of thousands of people to our website, how we get all these people on our email list, and then how to cr create products. So that's not developed yet, but that's going to be a great resource for people who are wanting to do this type of thing if they get a, get stuck along the way. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll do that. You know, when you've got it ready, we'll run it um, and do that. But th that's, you know, that's where people want to go. So if you uh, let me let me come back to the website, because I think this is important. If you're going to do something and show it on your home page, it needs to be in the upper section of the home page, not on the lower scales. Is there, what are the stats of people scrolling the whole homepage? You know, actually, with now that people are used to using phones, 
So uh-huh. that is even went over to the actual computer. So people actually do scroll um, what we call below the fold. So mm-hmm. people actually do that more than they used to. But you're right. If you really want to get their attention, it's you know up there towards the top. But you, we have seen that users are actually scrolling more than they used to. And they used to. But definitely right. doing it on the interior. Well, and then... Well, do have some kind of is there a WordPress plugin or something or is that a different uh, I use WordPress is there a different type of plugin that they specially engage with if they haven't signed up for something that you called it the exit okay yeah there's this great plugin and it's called Thrive Leads and I'm not sure how much it costs I, I think it might be fifty dollars or something but it's really amazing because what it does is it allows you to actually select what opt-in is going to show on what page. And so you can, it has this nice little editor and you can make it beautiful. And then you can say, Hey, I want this one to only show on the home page. And Hey, on this page over here, I want this one to show there. And so, and that's, um, talking about exit intent pop-ups, that's when someone is leaving, then they see a pop-up, but only when they're leaving. This Thrive Leads plugin does that. It also shows you stats on which opt-ins are working the best. So you can see, hey, this one's converting at 2%, and this one's converting at 8%. I mm-hmm. want to go ahead and take that one that's doing better, and I want to maybe mm-hmm. replace that one that's doing 2%. So a lot mm-hmm. of great functionality, and that's what we use to really drill into the details of some of this, this different email capture stuff. Mm-hmm. So I love your idea that if you're written a blog or something, and if you have some product that would, would um, uh, be ideal for it, that you make a pop-in within the blog. Is that what I understood? Yes, you can absolutely okay. do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's a great idea. I think that's a really great idea in, in the possibility. So basically you're saying, CJ, you don't need to have a PhD in IT to use this stuff. No, it, it's really simple. And if you look at the stuff I created at the very beginning, it was all stuff we created and there wasn't much expertise that went into the actual building of it. And then we just put it up and we saw that it worked. And then I became a major fan. So this is something that it doesn't take a lot of work to get started with. Mm-hmm. Well, I like that a lot. <laughs> and, and, and of course, when you get, when you can do it with free and when you were talking about the PDF of using Canva, is that on the fee side or is that available on the free side? Do you know? I, I think it's on the free side, but I don't know for sure because we have a pro account. Yeah, we do too. But, but I'm not sure either. I just tell people Canva is a good tool and they should be using it. <laughs> oh, right. All right. Anything else that you can think of for someone to build? Because we're really talking about products build your tribe. Absolutely. And it's so different than, than an article, like actually having people make that transaction. So one of the, the, um, the, one of my mentors who's really good at this stuff, he says he, he's a uh, uh, psychologist and he was talking about when people make decisions, and they say, yes, I'm going to opt in for this, then they trust themselves. So when you offer a product, they already know, hey, I trust CJ because I gave him my email the first time. So now he's selling this book. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase it because I know it's a good decision. So build, grabbing those people and putting them into your tribe, it just does so much to build that, that following and to make people really – loves you and trust you. So that's why I do this. That's why I give these things away for free because we've seen it works. Mm -hmm. So free does work. Free does work. So, and and let me ask you something else, CJ on, on mailings that go out. I mean, we are seeing more and more, um, you know, people who are using some kind of a management system. I mean, you must, I don't, I don't know who you use. Do you use Infusionsoft or something like that? I'm going to use Entreport, but we've used all of them, so there's a lot of them out there. Yes, and 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 what I'm just seeing is that uh, I saw one come across the other day. We just sent out our easing, and that that gets returned because the their robots think it's spam because it was done in a, a kind of a bulk. They use the word bulk, bulk distribution. Is there any way to get around that kind of thing? 
Um, yeah, one of the great ways to get around that is to actually have people, uh, first of all, when you tell on your landing page, you can say, hey, we're sending you this email. Make sure you look for it. It might be in your spam. So, and because unfortunately that just happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so, but so if they're looking for it and then they find you and then they click on the link inside, then especially with Gmail, then that automatically uh, for a period of time whitelists you for that, their email address. So if you can get people to interact with your emails, if they can click on those download links from inside your emails, then actually that does a lot to help with your deliverability. So it's maybe it's a good idea to, I mean, you can certainly ask for whitelist, but a lot of people don't even know what whitelisting is. So right. maybe what you have to do is I like the idea of suggesting if you, you're going to, you'll, you know, you will hear from me um, within 60 minutes or whatever it is. And if you haven't, make sure you check your, your spam or your quarantine file and, right. and activate it so you, we can communicate from now on out or something like that. I mean, it's a challenge. It is. It's really difficult. But if once again, if you, they can find you in that uh, in their spam and then they can click on that link, then that does um, a lot just to, to show that there's a real to, to Gmail or whatever the provider is. They see there's a relationship now. So, hey, we put it in spam, but they clicked on that link. They must have been expecting that. So it mm -hmm. actually helps with deliverability. Mm hmm. Well, I found that Gmail is a problem, and I also find that when accounts are carried through GoDaddy, um, they're they're kind of been gobbling stuff up. Right, absolutely. Um, I don't have a problem with either of those. Uh, for some reason, Yahoo doesn't like me, so um, I think it just kind of depends. <laughs> it's it's the gremlins the cyber gremlins yeah. are out there all right yeah. so as we, as we close up um and everyone uh, talk about your um your uh, mock-ups a little bit and i'm going to tell everyone let me give you i'm going to give an address out everyone it's https colon forward slash forward slash and then it's www.adazing www.adazine.com forward slash and then use my name, B-R-I-L-E-S. It gives you a discount when you go in and you want, this is an $80, was it right? Is that right, $80? Yes, $80. Okay, it's an $80 investment that will come back over and over and over and over and over again and you are going to find out all these great um, images so, AJ, in 30 seconds, you want to add on to that? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, that tool, we, uh, like I've been talking, we created that because we saw a problem and people had such a hard time creating these. Well, now you can do it automatically. And so it just takes a couple of seconds and you have access to hundreds of images. That's why we built it and it's super useful. Literally, everyone, seconds. Once you upload it, within five seconds, you have hundreds, hundreds of ideas for your books. I loved it. CJ, thank you so much for being on Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. Thanks for having me. All right. Everyone, happy writing, happy publishing. We'll be with you next week. Thank you for being a part of Your Guide to Book Publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Each week, a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take you, the author, to the next level. You'll learn tips and secrets on how to create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve book publishing success by making one very simple change in your book's journey. How to avoid the publishing predators. How to create an author and book platform that rocks. Learn how to make a living with your words and your books. Learn how to publish a book that has no regrets and so much more. For more information, check out AuthorU.org or where authors who want to be seriously successful go and Judith's website, thebookshepherd.com. Then join us again here next week for more. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Brought to you by Author You and the Book Shepherd. Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on the Rockstar Radio Network.